Okay, so the last video we had a look at how to pick up those pieces that belong to the current site to move. And this time uh, we're going to be generating the moves for leaper pieces. So let's have a look at the following code. So here uh, I have, uh, I've commanded the board with all, with initial position and I left just the only white knight here and we have white to move. So we're going to be generating moves for white knight at the moment, right? Uh, and also here I have the move offset table and uh, uh, also the table to reference the where, where to start looking uh, up at this table. So yeah, let's let's just write, uh, let's just run this first and then uh, have a look how the code works. So the variables uh, should be loaded at the zero page and upload and the code is going to 200 hexadecimal, okay, upload, and I'm now going to 0, 2, 0, 0, and control G to run the code. So now it already it already uh, should have marked all the target squares the knight is about to be going to. So if I go to hex dump now and from 0 to 0x80, zero so I'm looking for the board bytes, uh, 16 columns, and here is, here is the board. And you see like here we have the 0C, which stands for a white knight and this FFs are just markers of those squares of where the knight is about to go. That's pretty much all about it. Now if I just uh, try to consider different pieces, uh, you'll see how uh, this, uh, this so-called attack map is going to be changing. So for instance, let's consider the following example. So let's take the white pawn. So the white pawn is going is to be 0-9 here. So um, I just say 0-9 and save. Uh, I need to reload this because otherwise those markers are not going to disappear on their own. So play, paste, upload, and copy, paste, upload, hex, nope. Sorry, uh, no, first I want to run this 0 to two zero zero run, and now the hex dump and now you see that we have a white pawn here and what when pawn can move one square ahead two squares ahead uh capturing diagonal as well as you can see it doesn't do any legality checking at the moment so obviously we can go we can do the double pawn push if not uh if not here on the second rank for black pawn so it's not handled yet it's gonna be handled later on but just it's just a matter of generating all potentially possible offsets for a current given piece. So this time, this case, this is the pawn, so it just can go like this. If we change this to the black pawn and change the sign, then the the attack map would be mirrored downside, so it would be like this and this. You just trust me, I just, I, I've been checking that uh, before recording the video. So uh, instead, let's have a look at uh, the rest of Leaper pieces. So we're interested in so in the in the kings basically right so pawns kings and the knights yeah so king uh for instance uh white king uh has the code zero b okay so let's consider zero b here and do the same do the same thing paste assemble zero upload and paste symbol upload and run and the hex dump uh, okay so here is here are the moves for a kin so you can go like one square orthogonally and one square diagonally okay so all the leapers uh seems to be working properly yeah, like uh, if if we if if we don't care for uh, the move legality for now, so now currently can go off board and can can capture own pieces as well. So it's just a very uh, a very beginning here because again, if if you're doing this in six five two assembly, it really it's not that easy and not that fast as in C or in JavaScript or whatever high level language. So yeah, um, now let's have a look at how this works uh, in the code basically, and that would be it for this video. So. Mm, last video we've stopped with uh, this, yeah, uh, I've renamed, so yeah, uh, 
uh, I had this offset offset loop label, but now uh, I've realized that I also need to make some uh, to make some preparations uh, before actually running the before running the actual loop. So here now I'm jumping to the so-called this get offsets. Uh, so if the if the piece belongs to the side to move, then we go into this this label. Otherwise, we just jump into the next course. So just make sure that we generate moves only for those pieces that do belong to the current side to move. So if the piece does belong to the current side to move, then uh, well another another important thing. So uh, I've added uh, I've added a few variables because uh, there are only three reg three registers in six five zero two CPU. So but we need to store uh, some temp te temporary te temporary data and just just to give you an idea yeah so here uh, here I have some additional variables so source square piece to move piece type uh, target square and uh, current uh, all current direction offset so like uh, the, uh, one of these values is going to get stored here in the direction so and also, obviously, uh, I have the t I have I have this lookup table for where exactly the pieces are about to move. So, uh, as for well, black pawns, for instance, going upwards. So we only need to add a certain value to uh, to the current to the source square. So if we add the value of fifteen, it just captures diagonally uh, uh, value of decimal sixteen. It just goes one square up. Uh, uh, this is the decimal uh, uh, 15, 16, 14. No, this 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 is 17, decimal 17, hexadecimal 18. So just so this so this this one and this one it just captures diagonally. This one it just goes straight forward. Uh, now it's interesting to consider to have a look how the negative num how the negative directions are made. So I'm just setting up the leftmost bit, the most significant bit, basically to one and that's uh, and the the rest the rest is the same and then uh, i'm stripping that bit along the way so that's how we distinguish between uh the positive and negative directions by just exam uh, just by just inspecting that most significant bit and same for all the rest of directions for all the pieces basically so these are just the offsets uh assuming the 8 by 8 by 16 board so yeah uh, like one plus one minus one to go left and right and plus 16 minus 16 to go up and down and depending on uh, the, the specifics of for moves like for knights they just go some extra miles so yeah uh, all this uh, uh, all the offsets are encoded here basically and here I have the, the decimal offsets for knights to be, uh, for I was debugging this and this lookup table is is even more interesting so here, this is the order of um, of the types uh, of the pieces. So if we have a look, uh, if we go back to the types, we have that. Uh, so the uh, the downstreaming pawn, which is the white pawn, has the type one. Upstreaming pawn, pawn, which is black pawn, has type of two. And then, regardless of color, king is always three. Knight is always four. Bishop is always five, rook six, and queen is always seven, and we have this uh, here. So uh, the downstreaming pawn, the upstreaming pawn, the king, uh, knight, bishop, rook, and queen. And if we have so when we extract the type, uh, and then we can uh, take the address of this of this byte and at the value, well, actually not this byte, but uh, uh, one byte before it. So here, uh, so if I, I have the, uh, I have this, say, let's call them hooks, basically. I have the hooks to this, to these variables here. So for instance, uh, offsets and offset types. So offsets are these guys. So these are the offsets. And offset types starting from, well, A7 is this, is this one. Uh, but actually start from here, but uh, you, you'll now understand why, why we point to this byte, not to this one. So these are offsets and this, uh, this uh, ju just call it offset types. So let's have a look at the code. 
what happens here so yeah first uh so we want to store uh, and also yeah and also yeah i forget to say that also i have mm, i have this yeah i have this variables to to store the temporary data so once we made sure that the piece belongs to the current site to move so first we store the piece at uh at this a certain specific location in the random access memory at b0 then type at b1 destination square uh where the piece is going to at b2 and the direction the current uh, offset is uh, stored at b3 but i'm using the variable names here so uh, storing the piece uh uh whatever we have in the x register we store into the to, to uh, source uh so this is the source square where the uh, occupied by the piece then uh in order to bitwise and uh, in order to extract the piece type we need simply to bitwise and the current piece that is currently uh any uh, available at the a register with the constant of seven because we have only three bits being responsible for encoding the piece type right uh, then we store in the type at the specific location as well, and now we transfer in whatever we have, whatever type we have in the A register to the Y register, and now we wrap. And now what I've been already mentioning, so we're taking the offset type, which is this one, and adding the value whatever we have in Y register. So let's say if this is the white pawn, uh, so this is the type one. Okay, so uh, this plus one so we're gonna be looking here uh, if this is the black pawn we're gonna be looking here plus two if this is the knight no matter black or white it's gonna be three we're gonna, we're gonna be looking here so uh, once we we found that then we uh, load in whatever value we have uh, the offset type indexed by the y and again uh, now this becomes a new index but now this is gonna be the index to index the offsets and now we we're indexing this uh this let's call it array with a value from here 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 or here so for instance if we have uh so uh let's say kin here right well let, let's drop back to the night to the night basically so that's that's how it was so uh night uh night has a zero one two three four uh so zero uh, sorry one two three four so one d so we need to add one D to to the move offsets to get the night moves. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. 19 9a 9b 9c 9e 9d uh, uh, <laughs> guys uh, okay let's start let's start from scratch so first uh, because th th this is the just essence of uh, how this works uh, yeah I just mm, yeah, my, my, my CPU in my head is, is too slow, sorry. So 0C, uh, we're extracting the type. Uh, yeah, it's probably, I can, I can probably demonstrate you this. So 0C uh, in binary, in binary is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, like this. So after we bitwise end this with, uh, um, nope, with... 7f this is gonna be uh zero 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 and one zero zero which is four in decimal uh so now the next step so we got it we, we got it we did extract the type uh we stored the type and we transfer in type to y register now off type plus whatever we have in y and in y we have four so uh offset type uh uh plus four so it starts with offset type uh offset type yeah it starts with f7 f7 is here so plus one it's gonna be pawn plus two it's gonna be uh black pawn white pawn black pawn plus three is gonna be keen and plus four is gonna be knight which is the case so yeah one d one d so uh 
from here we can say that the offsets indexed by 1d or better to say that offsets plus 1d uh, is going to be the start of night night offsets so that's that's what we can say uh, so offsets uh, plus 0 is here offsets plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 so just just reference it here so 13 hexadecimal plus 14 a 15 16 17 18 19 1 a 1 b 1 c so here we have plus 1 c and here plus 1 d and this is exactly what we have so here should be 1 d so we stop here so after this instruction oh my god where is that after uh sorry i guess my cat is going crazy it's horribly distracting me and making me pissed off i'm sorry um i just can't do nothing to that unfortunately so um, yeah here so we're loading uh yeah and now we're loading offsets index by y so offsets uh, plus 1d whatever we have there so the offsets uh the offsets plus 1d we see this is sort of from here right okay sorry i've been distracted so uh whatever we have at offsets plus 1d that we took here which uh here is the where to start looking for the night moves so these are eight possible offsets of where night can go and some of them are positive some of them are negative and that's important because in case uh, if we have the most significant bit being set up then we want to sub subtract uh, the offset from the source square and if we don't have that set up so for those uh, eight uh, this means that we have the most significant bit set up here we have it set up as well so this this is negative this is negative as well this is positive this is positive positive now this is negative and this is negative as well right so now we're going to be distinguishing between, between those two between the positive and negative ones so moving further on um, uh, here uh, our branch equals to exit this means that once we have exhausted all all the values we have and if we've loaded this 0 0 so if we have 0 0 in a register that would force 0 flag to be set to true and in that case branch equals would bring us to the exit and for now we just just and the program here that's pretty much all about it but otherwise, uh, we just store in the current direction. So direction is this this number, then it's going to be this number, then it's going to be this one, this one, and so on. So currently, the direction should take should be continuing the value of a one. Let's check that out. So direction is the address of b three. So if we go to b three. We should have a one there. So zero zero b zero zero b three. Uh, 11 oh that wasn't the night i'm sorry that wasn't the night so there was the king uh yeah i guess we, we just had the king there um i've already changed this but but remember we, we had a king so for king um yeah it's probably containing this one and then it just uh or maybe yeah uh, or yeah I'm sorry guys well let me just uh, let, let me just run this one more time just just to make sure uh, so uh, assemble 
here. What? Okay, so on the line sixty nine. Oh, yeah, just uh, what I've been demonstrating. Yeah, symbol zero upload and uh, save. And two hundred upload. Nope. Zero two zero zero and run. And let's have a look at what we have at the hex dump. So we have all the night moves and uh, zero zero B three. B three we have twenty one. What the heck is that? That's probably Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, right. Guys, so here, here is here is the point. I forgot that uh, I was stripping that negative bit and storing the direction back. So it might it might be malformed. Uh, so yeah, it's it, sh it shouldn't be it shouldn't shouldn't be containing the 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 last value. So instead, probably I'm just so we have twenty one. Yeah, exactly. So we have this A1, which which is the negative. So here, here is how it works. So uh, so this is A1 in hexadecimal, and if we strip this way, this bit, then we have 21, and that's the reason. That's exactly what we have. So it's like A1, but with a negative bit been, been stripped. So that's that's the reason. Okay. Uh, so what's next? Um, so storing the direction, and now we have branch plus and branch minus. So depending if this the most significant bit has been set up or not. So branch plus, if it's not set up, we're going here. So here we're loading uh, whatever whatever value we have at the source, uh, whatever the, the source were occupied by the piece, and adding the direction, right, that we've just stored uh, here, right. So we store the direction if it's a plausible direction loading the source and adding the direction and go in here uh, and setting the destination square and then just marking the square with FF and then incrementing the uh, next direction so if we were here then after increment Y we're going here then here here and until we reach zero and in that case we just branch to exit right uh, so that, that's clear and now uh, the interesting thing happens when we're dealing with a negative direction. Now this this was a bit challenging. Um, so branch minus occurs if we have the most significant bit being set to one. Uh, that's uh, also known as oh my God, the negative flag in 6502 CPU. So we have a negative flag being active, been set to true. In this case, on branch minus, we go to we go here to subtract uh, subtract offset. So here we're loading the direction, we're stripping the negative bit, uh, we're storing the direction back and then loading the source and then we need to make sure that we uh, set in the clear bit, the, set in the carry flag uh, before subtracting the direction from, uh, from the source and then we need to restore it back. But otherwise the calculations of, uh, adding, uh, of addition and subtraction would have been malformed. So make sure to do this. Uh, set carry and clear carry just wrapping around this uh, subtract here and that's pretty much all about it so once we subtracted the value from the source square we have uh, the reasonable offset where uh, was the direction where to move this piece this current piece and then uh, whatever we have in the a register now can be treated as a destination square so we're loading uh, to, so, so you remember like X was serving here as um, the counter for uh, like uh, loop over all the pieces but since we're for, at, at the moment we're not looking for other pieces but the very first and the very own one so we can just sacrifice X here since we just break out of the program anyway uh, so I'm just loading this uh, whatever we have the destination square and 
then loaded ff marker to a register and at the word indexed by the destination square literally um, which is storing this ff and that's how we can get this hex dump showcasing uh, the valid moves of where night is about to be going and the same for the rest of pieces so the next steps to consider would be to make this uh, the move legality check to make sure that the piece is not going overboard is not capturing own piece specific rules for pawns so it can go diagonally only if opponent's piece is available there and what else uh, can make double pawn push only if uh, on the second or on the seventh rank and if there is nothing in between and can move forwards only if it's not blocked and then for a and then we can go for leaper pieces and for leaper pieces we need only to make sure not going off board and not capturing own pieces that's pretty much all about it but i think i will separate the logic of this pseudo legal moves uh pseudo legality check-in in separate and then i would be calling that uh two times once for leaper pieces and, and another time for slider pieces the original implementation by Harm Gert Miller is implemented in his MicroMaxages engine in C was doing this in one run, but I think that would complicate the code and potentially be producing more bugs. So I just I would rather sacrifice a couple of uh, bytes to make an extra function call to check this legality rather than trying to wrap this, uh, trying to wrap the loop uh, around the uh, uh, instead of trying to wrap. The loop over the attack ray within the loop over the move offsets so i think just doing this separately is more uh clean and straightforward way and hopefully producing less bucks so yeah this is it from my side thanks for watching until next time and take care